what's going on youtube man welcome back to another video let me turn this when let me roll this window down now before we jump into today's video man you should have know what you should have been did like comment and subscribe we trying to save the world we trying to save as many people as we can so make sure you hit that post notification bell so you <laughs> so you don't get that post not clarity my guys now listen man shout out to everybody that's supporting me man shout out to all the new supporters you know we growing on a every single day basis man stop playing with us man we going up now listen man as you can see by today's title we're talking about how the modern women have men by a stronghold brothers man listen women nowadays they follow us men men were created first right god made women out of adam's rib so women are naturally going to follow us because we are leaders naturally as men so whatever we make normal whatever we condone they're going to do the same thing they're going to think whatever we do is normal they're going to think this because they look to us as leaders and I made a video a few months ago. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you go check that out before you watch this one. I'm going to drop it right here. But like I'm saying, women follow us men. So whenever we we give in to the, the sites, you know, the hub, whenever we give in to the OnlyFans, whenever we give in to, to commenting and liking their, their half-naked Instagram pictures, Whenever we give in to these things, we're, we're showing women that what they're doing is okay. We're showing women that what they're doing is okay. And that is because a lot of men are tapped into their lust. That is why, because men are controlled by their lust. This is why I push semen retention the way I do. And shout out to all the brothers that's spreading this message as well, because a lot of men need to know about this. But modern women have men by a stronghold because of lust. They know that if they post the half naked pictures, men are going to be lusting after them. Men are going to be sliding in their DMs. Men are going to be willing to fly them out. They know they have to get the BBL because that is what men are looking for nowadays. Men no longer want a nice little slim little, you know what I'm saying? Men don't, don't want that no more. Every man's desire nowadays, it seems like, is to have a a, a, a big old, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> men's desires nowadays are distorted. It's twisted. It's really twisted. You can't go out in public nowadays without and, and see a, a, a fine chick and she has a nice body. You can't go out nowadays without lusting. And it's, it's because of what we've seen on the sites. The women on the women on the sites, nine times out of 10, their bodies are fake. They're, they're promoting a fake body so the consumers, which is the general population, can go ruin themselves. It's all a trap. It's all a trap. When they follow what the, the, the peace stars are doing and they, and they do it in their own lives, it's just causing more and more men to lust. You know, imagine we lived in a world where every woman had to cover up. I don't think men would be lusting like that. If we didn't have access to, to free pornography, men would not be lusting like that. And that is a fact. That is why I know the, the, the higher powers that be, they know the power that we have as, as humans. They know. They know that if we, we retain and abstain, they know that if we do that, we can be powerful. They know that we're not going to be trapped in our lust. So they have to they have to throw the, the, the pornography at us. They have to throw the, the half naked Instagram model on your Instagram feed. They have to do that because they know that once you instantly see that you're you're submitting to that. They know that men nowadays are weak and I'm just keeping it a buck. Men today are weak, man. 
a lot of men nowadays are down bad and that is just what it is that is just reality you know i can't i can't come on this camera and and sugarcoat anything i feel it in my spirit to speak up men nowadays are weak we instantly submit to a woman once she has a nice body man that is sad bros we have to pay attention to what a woman has to offer mentally spiritually emotionally can she take care of your kids can she be a proverbs 31 woman that is what we have to start normalizing again men are not doing this men are not doing this i'm gonna drop all the traits of a proverbs 31 woman right here and if you're a woman watching this video, let me know if you checked it all the Proverbs 31. Let me know. Or if you're a guy watching this video, let me know if the women you see on your IG post or the or the women you've been with, do they check off the Proverbs 31 woman? Because nowadays it seems like women are just finessing men basically. They know that men can easily give in. They know this. See, and that's the power of women. Women are very feminine. So all they have to do is throw on a nice little, throw on some makeup, fix their hair, throw on a nice outfit, and men are just 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 drooling over them. That all that's all women have to do. They just have to show up. And it's sad that it's like that because us men, we have to be going the extra mile when women all they have to do is just show up i'm not trying to sound like these red pill hurt guys but i'm just saying man we need to start making women try harder man we're giving our power away too easily it says it in the scripture that men give away their powers to to women that destroys kings we're giving our power away way too easily man way too easy and I know it can be tempting seeing a woman with a nice body. I know it can be tempting because we have been programmed. And I know for a fact, for me, the reason why I might still be battling certain type of lust issues is because of what is stuck in my head from watching the sights. And this is why I'm trying, I'm still in the progress of reprogramming my mind. We live in a world today where Everything is, is sexualized. Everything is lust. You see it on TV. You see it on YouTube. They're literally bringing the hub to YouTube. It's crazy out here, man. And it's crazy because your favorite YouTuber is profiting off of you. Your favorite YouTuber, I'm not going to say no names. They are profiting off of you. All for a bag. All for a bag. They're profiting off of you. Because they're going to bring these, these thick models in their videos just for your pleasure so you can go back to the sites and release your manly essence. That is what these men are doing out here, man. Unknowingly or knowingly, they know that they're destroying other people. And that is why the scripture says, wealth gained by vanity shall be diminished. I'm going to drop the verse right here. Whoever still be watching these content creators, bringing these thick women, thinking that it's okay to have these type of content on YouTube, man, y'all still trapped in your lust, bros. We have to wake up. We have to snap out of it because we're in a deep sleep. That's what it seems like. We're in a deep sleep, man. Women are literally controlling certain men just by how they look. Just by how they look, just like a lot of women can literally seduce men just based on how they look at them. And if you're not, if you don't have your lust under control, you'll easily be seduced by a woman. This is why we practice retention on my channel, because on retention, we took our power back. We have our mojo. So a woman can just easily seduce a guy on retention. Because we said we come in with all this smoke as well. We seducing them back. You get what I'm saying, bros? This is why we practice retention, man, because we want to take our power back. We are kings, man. When are you going to wake up and realize that you're a king, brother? When are you going to wake up?
When are you gonna stop putting these women on a pedestal, lusting over them? When are you gonna wake up and see that it's not helping you? When are you gonna wake up? When are you gonna wake up and start to realize that, are you attracted to this woman or are you just attracted to her body? If you've seen the soul of that woman, would you still be attracted to her? Ask yourself this question every time you see a quote unquote baddie. Ask yourself this question. And if your answer is no every single time, then that means you should not be messing with these women. A lot of us has normalized having women with, with BBLs and all those things. A lot of us have normalized it because that's all we see. A lot of men, those are the only type of women they want. You ask the average guy, what does a woman have to have in order for him to approach? And he's gonna say her booty, I promise you. He's not gonna say her soul, her mindset, her connection back to the most high. He's not gonna say that. He's gonna say her body is what's gonna make him approach. We have to get away from that way of thinking, man. That's how modern women have men by a stronghold. And until we break out of that cycle, until we show women that what they're doing is not godly, until we show them that what they're doing is not acceptable by God, until we show them that, they're gonna continue finessing modern men. They're gonna still do it. They're gonna still do it. We have to start actually appreciating slimmer women because we got away from that also. That's one thing I've noticed. That is how the sights can really distort your mind. Because you think like, oh, she's too skinny. I don't want her. When you see the woman with the big booty, when you see the woman with a, a big old, big old, you instantly start drooling over that woman. That is an issue. Why can't you have that same amount of energy for a more slimmer type of woman? You know, that that is how I always, that's why I always say the human psyche is very interesting. It's very interesting because we, we, we kind of neglect the slimmer women, but we want a woman with a, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of mind boggling. Let me know if you kind of pick up on what I'm trying to say. But listen, man, this video, I want men to wake up. Don't be a victim of these modern women, man, because they're not coming to be with you. They want to take what you have as a king. And they notice, they notice women literally have you in the palm of their hand. If you're steady lusting after women, they literally have you in the palm of their hand. You're literally their dog on a leash. And I know you're not trying to be like that, man. You're a king, wake up. So listen, man, if you guys took anything valuable or learned something new today, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions, man. I'm very curious to see what you guys got to say. Share this video with a friend because they will most definitely need this information. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm out.